I thought we would stop at the Class of 18 Memorial Sundial here in front of Dallas Hall on SMU campus. As you can see, this sundial is broken. There should be uh, a pointer here, which is called the style, which should cast a shadow on the face of the sundial, which should tell us what time. Fortunately, it's not too hard to fix a broken sundial. Any straight rod will do, such as my marker. I can just put it in place, and then I get a nice crisp shadow. But on the other hand, depending on how I place this, the shadow might fall on different spots uh, on, the, on the face, so how do I know what time it is? Well, one answer is I could try to follow the contour that used to be here from the broken off style. Well, that's not very satisfying. As it was broken off, it might have been twisted. How do I know if I'm getting the correct angle? It's actually pretty simple to determine what the angle of the style should be on a horizontal sundial. To help us visualize this, I have some diagrams that show how a sundial works. It all has to do, of course, with the angle of the sun and the angle of the Earth's rotation. So here's a first diagram. The simplest sundial to understand would be a sundial at the North Pole. At the North Pole, you have the style pointing straight up and the face of the sundial completely flat. The sun's coming from over here. As the Earth rotates, obviously the shadow falls directly away from the sun. As the Earth rotates, the dial does as well. And so the shadow will fall on a different place in the dial and you'll be able to tell what time it is. Now, on the other hand, if you're somewhere else on the planet, what do you do? Well, this shows what you do. You just line up the style with the Earth's axis of rotation. That way, as the Earth rotates, the sun seems to rotate directly around the style, and so the shadow will move around your dial. This diagram shows what, ha what things look like. This particular sundial is in London. You can see if we use this design, the style points directly along the Earth's axis of rotation so directly to, uh, in the same direction as the North Pole of the Earth points. And now, you see, because uh, we're partway around the globe, the direction which people stand has rotated along with the latitude. Or if we convert to the way people stand, you see, we have to angle the style and angle the face of the sundial. You might say, but wait, the face of this sundial isn't angled. Well, that's OK. There's a diagram for that, too. You can see we could also keep the dial, the sundial, horizontal in the local uh, and the way things look locally. So here, if we kept the dial of the sundial horizontal in space, when we were at a different part of the planet, it had to be angled. Instead, we can keep the uh, face of the sundial horizontal to local people. Notice the style has to still be angled because it always has to point in the, along the axis of rotation of the Earth. So at the equator, for example, if we look back at this diagram, the axis of the rotation of the Earth is completely horizontal. When these people are standing straight up, their style actually has to be horizontal. So if you're standing at the equator, uh, a sundial will look very different. Um, in Britain, then it'd be at an angle. Now, what is that angle? Well, it turns out, because all of these go along the same direction of the axis of rotation of the Earth, the angle that you end up is just the amount that you have to rotate to get the person standing straight up, and that's exactly equal to our latitude. Here in Dallas, the latitude is just under 33 degrees, so to get the sundial to read correctly, we just have to make sure that our marker or whatever rod we use is pointing at an angle of 33 degrees. And right now it's right about noon and we can see that the shadow is pointing almost directly at the noon mark on this sundial because I've got the, my style at just about the right angle equal to the latitude here at Dallas.